Here we are starting up macOS 10 Public Beta, a public release of macOS 10 that was in beta stage before the final release of it in March of 2001. As you can see, the look and feel of this version of OS 10 had some elements that made it through to current versions of OS 10 that we still use today, but certain elements were dropped as macOS 10 entered a final release stage. So let's take a look at how macOS 10 looked like back in the public beta. As you may notice, there is a difference in the menu bar. The special menu is something that did not make it through to the final releases, and the application menus were also represented by icons as an option. You could change this option in System Preferences in the General System Preferences pane. When in the Finder, you had a menu item labeled Desktop, not labeled Finder. The dock also had some other limitations. For example, there were no secondary click contextual menus for icons, and the Finder icon was labeled Desktop. This is what an Aqua user interface button looked like. This type of interface still lasts today in macOS 10, but there are some significant changes that occurred over the many versions that were released. To change your desktop background, you actually control that through the dock and desktop preferences, not through system preferences. This is actually how it was in the final release of macOS 10, but in 10.1, system preferences had a pane for you to change your desktop background. And if you're wondering what that apple in the middle of the menu bar does, well, it does nothing. Mac OS X also had a built-in music player. iTunes came bundled with Mac OS X in future versions. System Preferences also looks very different than it does today, and it allows you to put favorite items into a toolbar on top, just by using drag and drop. Other dock extras like a clock and a battery meter could be put into your dock, and by clicking on them, you can open up preferences for the application and change its appearance and other settings. Along with the other menus in the Finder menu bar, the special menu contained options for emptying trash, ejecting disks, erasing disks, and sleep and shutdown. So that is all for this tour of Mac OS X Public Beta, and you can surely see how OS X has changed through the years. Videos are just the beginning. Check out these other great websites for great content from the Computer Clan, and subscribe for more great videos from Real Deal Productions.